Some cryptos take off to the moon. Others are destined for Mars. The crypto I'm going to be talking about today is destined to somewhere near Alpha Centauri. It boldly goes where no man has gone before. This is not financial advice. This is for entertainment only. I'll be listing the cryptos that I invest in near the end of this video. I also will provide a list of hot stocks that I add to regularly. And I consider, uh, Cardano is not a stock, but I consider, consider it a hot investment. Cardano was founded by one of the founders of Ethereum, uh, Charles Hoshkinson. He had a disagreement with another founder of Ethereum, Vitalik Buterin. Uh, Buterin wanted to keep Ethereum as a non-profit organization and uh, Charles Hoskinson wanted to make a, a for-profit uh, organization, so they parted uh, their separate ways. Hoskinson founded Cardano because he wanted to correct uh, the problems that he saw with Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum is the first crypto to do smart contracts and Ethereum is to be appreciated for the many smart contracts that they've done, uh, which has Im improved things a lot and, and which has made Ethereum so valuable. But Ethereum is running into the problems of scalability because if you continue to mine the way Bitcoin is, your scalability uh, and, and the speed of transaction, uh, it's, it's just not acceptable. And so Charles Hoskinson, uh, knowing these problems, uh, focused on trying to get a different uh, security, if you will, uh, a different insurance uh, for the transactions. That's the way I think of it. Instead of requiring proof of work, which is what having computers do ridiculous computations, for a long time uh, to prove that this is a legitimate tr a transaction. Instead of doing that, the holders of Cardano, they insure the transactions. And uh, b they insure the transactions by staking uh, money that, that is put up to insure the transactions. And when they do this, they earn an interest rate and it makes so much more sense uh, it, it can be done quickly. Uh, they have ways of determining uh, uh, if someone is a reliable staker. Uh, if something strange starts to happen, they penalize the staker by taking away uh, some of their money. And so the stakers are motivated uh, to be legitimate. And all the people involved with this, uh, the, it's very much uh, a proof by consensus. Uh, what I like about this is it's not just a machine looking at it. Uh, it's 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 a machine looking at it, but looking at the people and and can are these reliable people? And even if they aren't reliable, they have a way of 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 punishing those uh, who aren't reliable and keeping the reliable uh, people to the front uh, so that it ends up being a good thing. It, it is like having insurance on, on your crypto. Uh, and the Bitcoin mining method just is not, it's not sustainable. It's unbelievable how much energy uh, is used uh, to process this Bitcoin mining. I mean, people have their computers running day and night uh, and, and there's miners that literally their house can be overheating if, if they have enough computers doing this. Uh, so it just makes a lot more sense uh, for scalability and speed of transaction. Cardano, because they get the transaction uh, rate going much faster and there's not the middleman, so you knock the fees out of the middle. Uh, it can be used as a currency, and they are looking into Africa especially, because Africa, 
there are so many problems with their currencies and with their banks that Cardano makes a good substitute in many ways. They've particularly been uh, focusing on Ethiopia, and Ethiopia is interested uh, and has expressed a lot of interest in this. But the problem with Africa is a lot of time their currency is losing value at the same time that inflation of what they buy is going up. So what you're buying is going up and your currency is losing value. Um, and then when you go to the bank, the bank takes another 9% out of the transaction. Uh, so you can see uh, how something like Cardano, and especially now, uh, to, to get this currency going, uh, to get it going as a currency, when it's going up, the, people's, the people will have something that actually is going up in value. Uh, Africa is so behind uh, the rest of the world in so many ways. I think only about 39% of the population has a smartphone. I am very interested in investing in companies that are trying, trying to improve the condition of, of the world and the environment. And Cardano definitely fits that bill. They not only are cleaning up the environment, but they want to help uh, these African countries advance socially. And Charles Hoskinson always says he wants Cardano to be more than legal tender. So there are lots of plans in the works. I, I want you to know how smart Cardano is. They literally publish papers all the time on, on, the, on their blockchain and how they're structuring it and how the, they're uh, trying to overcome the different problems they run into. If you look at uh, a, a flow chart of just one stage of, of what they're trying to do, it looks unbelievably uh, complex. And they're taking a very academic approach to this. Uh, they're associated uh, and work with several universities. Uh, so this isn't something that's just trotted out there and, 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 and we hope that it works. You know, it, it, this is something that's very, very much researched uh, and it should be uh, well proven uh, both academically and practically as they get more experience. So why should you invest in Cardano? Uh, it, number one reason in my mind is it is easily the most environmentally uh, friendly crypto out there. Cardano uses a fraction of the energy that Ethereum does. The biggest reason is speed of transaction. Uh, Ethereum does about 15 transactions per second. Uh, Cardano does 1 million transactions per second. A thing that's very different about Cardano is it can work efficiently across different blockchain networks. Uh, the old uh, cryptos have a difficult time working across di different networks. This interoperability of Cardano will be increasingly important as time goes on. And Cardano is building real world partnerships that I think is going to give it most favored crypto status in, in many countries. For instance, in Ethiopia, uh, with the Department of Education, uh, Cardano is storing the academic re uh, records of, of their students uh, in their blockchain so that the students have an immutable, tamper-proof academic record that they can use to study ab abroad or to obtain jobs within their own country. Uh, some have referred to Cardano as the Ethereum killer, <laughs> and, but I think that might be a little bit of an exaggeration. I think Cardano is going to do very well uh, simply because of the speed of their transactions uh, and they're being more environmentally friendly. And Ethereum is just further behind on getting to their proof of stake. Uh, Ethereum won't be doing proof of stake uh, and so will be doing the same mining they're doing now with the slow transactions. 
they, they won't be doing proof of stake until 2022. And Cardano is doing all of this starting September 12th. Please keep in mind that I'm not a financial advisor and I'm just describing what I'm doing. As we approach the September 12th date, Cardano ADA is approaching uh, $3. I think it'll easily go over $6. Long range, I think it'd go to a hundred dollars. Um, which, uh, if you if you've got an extra couple thousand to put aside that you don't really need for anything else right now, uh, it might be very wise to put it in Cardano. And I don't think it's reckless investing. You're investing in the most proven crypto other than Bitcoin uh, that there is. Bitcoin is is sort of a purity. Uh, and that that's why it will always be the store of value. It always will be digital gold. I don't think it, it can be corrupted. Uh, of course, a, a person can always be found wrong. But if that ever happens, that's going to be news heard around the world. I don't think Ethereum is going anywhere simply because they have first mover advantage and they have many smart contracts, which they will continue on with. And especially since they're updating to their Ethereum 2.0, 2 uh, it will have the proof of stake advantages. Uh, it, will, it will be whether Cardano or Ethereum 2.0 do the transactions faster and more securely. Uh, I think uh, Cardano is doing things awfully fast. A million transactions per second for a crypto is unbelievable. And also, as far as security goes, they've been studying this and dealing with this uh, and looking at the structure of this longer th than any of the others. And so I think to do it on a secure basis, transactionally and quickly, I think Cardano is, is probably going to be the safest and that probably will win the day. But I expect both of them to be in competition with each other. So the three major cryptocurrencies end up being Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano, and that's what I'm invested in. Of course, I put 10,000 apiece in Bitcoin and Ethereum and 50,000 in, in Cardano, so I obviously believe much more in Cardano. I think it's going to double soon, and I think we could be looking at 100 times whatever we put in it now on a long-term basis and that's enough to retire on if, if you put enough into it. So I have high expectations. I'm excited for what's coming. Uh, I don't know exactly how expansive he's going to be with Cardano and what other social things he's going to apply it to, but he assures us that he's going to, and I'm looking forward uh, to those developments with anticipation as I love to invest in companies that are trying to improve the world. Hold the press! It just came in that Cardano is going to be able to work with the, Ner the Nervos blockchain which is going to give it access to China. China is the biggest crypto trading nation in the world. This is big news. This just shows how important Cardano's interoperability and ability to work across blockchains and cross networks, how important that is. It's giving them access to the biggest crypto market in the world. Here's a quick look at the chart on Cardano since October of 2020. And we can see how, uh, how much it's gone up. Uh, it's just rocketed and it's approaching the all important $3 mark. And I think that will be a further, once we clear $3, I, th I think uh, it's really going to rocket after that. And especially with all the positive news coming in and all the new developments, I, I think this is Ethereum 3.0. This $95 billion market cap rocket is going to explode upwards even further. Here's my list of potentially hot stocks you might consider buying in a pullback.
stocks that have an asterisk by them uh, were covered in a previous video. And for f further information and my thoughts about whether uh, how much I believe in that stock, uh, you might want to look at that. As some of them I see as longer term investments, some of them I see as swing investments, and others I'm very hesitant about, and not very hesitant about, uh, but uh, they're moonshots, you know. Uh, they're, usually it's a stock that doesn't have a product out yet, and I'm, I'm hesitant, uh, but there is explosive growth potential in those stocks too. You just got to watch your timing on what price you buy that.